guys, it's Tilly and today I am doing my June wrap up video. I read six books this month, which for me is like pretty average. I had a bit of a reading slump and I've come out of it on the other end and hopefully July will be filled with many more great books. I'm currently reading The Diabolic by S.J. Kincaid and so far that seems pretty damn awesome. So hopefully that'll just kind of rocket me into reading a ton of books because God knows that I need to with my huge ass TBR. But for now, I took six off that pile. Also, please excuse my messy bookshelves behind me. I am doing a photo challenge that I created for the month of July. So if you guys want to participate in that, I'll post a link below to that um, on via my Tumblr. But I am doing it across all my social media. So at the end of July, I will post a video going through all the books that I chose as well. And now to the books that I did read this month in no particular order because I cannot remember at all how I read these books. Firstly we have The Raven Boys and The Dream Thieves by Maggie Stevedor and these books were amazing. I love them very much but I also hate them because these books put me into a slump. To me I feel like the writing in these books is, I don't know, it's really different to anything I've ever read and although I enjoy, enjoy the storyline I still feel very tired when I read them and I think that's one of the reasons I went into a slump was because the writing style just got to my brain and it affected me but the characters in these books are so amazing and I love the storyline so much uh, I'm pretty sure most of you guys have heard about the Raven Boys but if you haven't this is the first book in the series the last book recently came out so everyone's pretty hyped about that so it is about a girl called Blue um, her entire family is what I believe are called Sears either way they're kind of like witches I guess. They predict things in the future, they read tarot cards and everything great. Blue herself does not have the gift but she does amplify everybody else's and basically one day she's on the corpse road and she sees her first ghost which is a young boy who is called Ganzi and basically Ganzi has a trio well, three other friends. You have Noah, you have Adam and you also have the wonderful Ronan and this story just evolved from there about magical things and friendships and murder and it's just amazing. Next up is a book that I read in one sitting which I was very happy about. It is another Morgan Matson book and that is Since You've Been Gone and I really really enjoyed this book. Um, to me it wasn't as great as The Unexpected Everything but I still absolutely loved it. The characters are amazing, the dialogue is hands down fantastic and the writing style just keeps you captivated into the last page. So this one is about a girl called Emily and basically her best friend Sloan has gone missing. Um, she didn't she was leaving, she's not answering her phone, and her house has been untouched. And then one day Emily receives a letter, which is basically like a bucket list, I guess. And basically Sloane has said, do this, do that, do this, and then, you know, complete the list. So it's got things on there from going skinny dipping to riding a horse, which Emily is terrified of doing. And it basically just fills her summer. And it's so amazing because she creates this whole new group of friends and they're also individual and I love it so much. And if you guys want a really nice summer read, you guys have to pick this one up. And the first book that I read in June, which I do remember because I was so terrified of this book of a book, Illuminae by J. Christoph and Amy Kaufman. And I love this book and at the same time I am very terrified of this book. And if you guys want a really fast, action-packed book that kind of keeps you guessing, you guys need to pick this up. Gemini, which is the second book in the series, comes out soon. And be sure to read it before then because you're missing out. And then I read Paper Girls, which this is a graphic novel. Um, I really wanted to like this one, but I didn't enjoy it as much as I kind of hoped I would. And so basically it is about a young girl who decides to join the paper run and she meets these other paper girls um, and they go on a crazy adventure with aliens and death and time machines and it's absolutely crazy and I kind of need someone's opinion on what the rest of these books are like because I don't know if I want to pick the rest up. And lastly I read Zeros by Scott Westerfeld, Margot Lanigan and Deborah Bain Cotty and now I also remember why I went into a reading slump is because I read this book and it was very boring. I got about halfway through it and then I was like, what's happening? Nothing is really happening. I couldn't relate to any of the characters. The writing fell flat for me. And so I tried to finish it, but I couldn't finish it. I just didn't like the book and it kind of breaks me a little bit. I don't know, I kind of thought that a book where kids have superpowers would be so much more fun than what it actually was. So that's all the books that I read in the month of June and I'm very excited for more books to read in July. I feel like 
books are just bursting out of my heart right now because I really want to go and read and that's exactly what I'm going to go and do. Uh, so thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys soon hopefully and until then just be amazing, do your thing and have some good books to read.